today's video, I'm going to be doing a DIY. I haven't done one of these on my channel. At least, um, fashion-wise, I haven't done one of these yet. So, in this video, I'm going to be doing the lace cutout in high-waisted jeans. So, if you've ever seen those jeans on Pinterest or Instagram, I'll put a picture up right here when I'm talking about it. I fell in love with these jeans and I wanted them so badly. But I thought, why pay like $60 for them plus shipping fees to come to ship it all the way to Canada where I could just make it myself out of an old pair of jeans? So, if you guys are interested in what I did to make them come out like this, plus a little bonus DIY, then just keep on watching. The jeans look like once they are on. As you can see, towards the bottom, there's a little bit too much space, so let, I want to take that in as well when we're going to do the lace cutouts on the sides. So I measured up how much I want the actual cutout and where I want it to actually stop because the jeans are already cut out at the knees that I wanted, we're all good. And I want to take it up a little bit because I am short, so we're going to hem up that ankle line as well. Okay, so what you're going to need for this DIY is scissors, measuring tape, pins, a seam ripper, chalk or some sort of marking utensil, needle and thread, and a sewing machine. And we're also going to need our lace pattern as well. I chose to take this more colorful pattern because it fits more my style. So I marked where the fold line is and then flipped the jeans inside out. Once the wrong side was facing me, I can measure where the mark was and then proceed to mark the rest of the bottom line of the jeans. I also marked where the cutout was supposed to end on the inside of the jeans as well in case I needed it for reference. Once I did all that, I flipped the jeans right side over again and proceeded to put down the lace trim over top and cut out the pattern design I wanted in the cutout of the actual jeans. And then laid it out on the opposite side and did the exact same thing, cutting out the pattern again, this time for the opposite leg. This is what the laid out pattern looked like. So then I marked out where I wanted the cutout to end on the side of my jeans and then I also marked down the hemline because I did take it in towards the bottom so that it fit me more like a skinny jeans. And then I guesstimated how big I wanted the cutout to be. Later on you'll see that I put down the pattern so that I know exactly how wide the actual opening will be. Then I put a pin straight across the top so that I know where to stop the actual opening of the cutout. Flip the jeans inside out again and start seam ripping all the way up until you hit the pin. Flip it right side again and then fold in down the actual line where you, where my makeshift hemline is so that I can lay down the cutouts over top and it won't be too big on my legs. Since we have seam ripped the hemline on the outside, I want to just pin it back so that it won't move when we lay down our pattern piece over top of the pants and pin that all the way around and then hand stitch it all the way around to the actual pants. After 10 years, once we have finally finished hand stitching, we're going to flip it inside out once again. We're going to fold in the raw edges of the opening and then machine straight stitch it down. Finally, we're going to straight stitch on the bottom seam lines where everything is connected together so that when we cut off the excess fabric, it's not going to fray and come apart. Second jeans is an extra pair of light wash jeans that I have that I need to also take in the bottom hemline again and decide to do the slits at the knees. So once again I folded the jeans where I wanted it to fit on my ankle and then I also marked off where I wanted the slits on my knees to actually fall. So 
So just like with the previous pants, we're going to measure how much I want to take off the bottom of the pants and then I'm going to just straight stitch along only the hemlines so that when we do cut it, there is no fraying from the cut off edges. So I just stretched it out a little bit to start the distressing kind of look. After that, we're going to flip it right side out again and just cut where we have the markings on the knees. And then we're done. My username is la underscore lacelle on all platforms and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out on future videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Bye.